Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you may be on planet Earth. Good day, hello, and welcome back to Seven Days to Die, Alpha 20.3, and episode 12 of the Winchester mod. And in today's episode, we were going to do a lot of upgrading. Uh, there's a lot of bits and pieces we got to do, got to do around the base. Trader is now open. We've got a quest we've got to go and do. First things first, we've got some zombies that we need to take care of momentarily. But for now, our farm has grown beautifully. So we are gonna we're gonna harvest up our farm just to see what we get back, what we need to remake, and what we need to plant. These are the crops that we are most interested in. In fact, I seem to recall. No, I did that wrong. I did that completely wrong. I seem to recall we had an extra three from Flula. From farm plots, yes, we had an extra three farm plots, so we get those put down now. Uh, right, we got three corn seeds back, so recipes we need to make two. We got two potato seeds back, so recipes we need to make three. So we keep our five and five going. We're gonna need a little clay because we need two mushroom seeds. Unless I have any spares, I have one spare, and I didn't need to make the corn seed, but I'll plant the extra one anyway. And as we've got the extra three farm plots i think i'll plant the hops as well uh right okay we need clay we need a smidgen of clay uh mushrooms recipes mushroom spores seed make that five put the clay back away and there we go oh no put that in the wrong box i did it again right let's get these planted back up again Right, so corn is planted. Potatoes are planted. Might as well plant the hops as well, like I said. And grab the mushrooms. One, two, three, four, five. Perfect, that's done. That's left us with 23 corn, 17 potatoes, and 26 mushrooms. That's excellent. We are going to be really, really well off food. Say so the reason we went for mushrooms, potatoes, and corn is because we could, even if we run out of meat, we can always make vegetable stew. Uh, I was doing a little upgrading last night, as you can see. However, believe it or not, I've actually run out of wood. I have no wood. I have to go and chop down some trees. We may or may not have some zombies mooching around down here. Let me go over and check the trail. I wish this weather would clear up a little bit. Uh, let's get the axe. Get the axe ready, and we're going to hack down some trees. Hopefully we don't get murdered while we do this. Let's find the fully grown trees and get some more wood on the go. We're going to have to go and come and cut some of these down as well today. Okay, 1,878 wood. 1,878 wood. That's not going to... That's, that, that's going to be okay. Just as we're in the middle of doing our harvesting, Arlene decides she wants to come along and try and ruin the party. Why is it always Arlene? Why is Arlene always the one who's the gate crasher? Nobody else comes over and crashes the party. It's always Arlene. I think we need to set some boundaries here. I think me and Arlene, we'll think we need to have a serious talk. Either that or I'll, uh, we might have to ask her, we might have to ask Josh to have a word with her and see if he can get his lady under control. All right, we're up to 2,421 stone. I want to try and get to somewhere close to 3,000. I think, if I remember right, we had 1,500 cement kicking around in the base. So if I could split this in half for 1,500 stone and then put 1,500 of it in the cement mixer, for 1500 sand we can make 1500 concrete mix that will definitely help a lot when it comes to ow when it comes to ow when it comes to um when it comes to the next horde night that's going to help us out a great deal are we being invaded oh man we've oh oh yikes okay I've got all their attention. We've got all their attention. Including another Arlene. See what I mean? 
she wants to come she wants us to come and crash the party there's the 3k that i wanted all right one more we'll take out one more edge grab a few more stone we'll go and get that set up and crafting and then we'll head off and see if we can do something a smidgen more productive with our day where were we at where were we at where was the concrete mix no we didn't have that much we only had 600 okay we only had 600 concrete so in that case then if we split that in half if i put if i now put 1600 stone in there we'll turn that on an hour's worth and that's only going to take 22 minutes we can get we can take a little bit more timber out of there there we go we get that smelted yeah that'll work right we'll get that stone in there uh switch that to there for a second turn that into crushed sand like so take that back out so we get 800 crushed sand a little bit of concrete we're probably going to need a little bit more stone uh stone is in there how much cement does it make it makes 10 cement per 12 stone so okay okay we'll let that smelt we'll let that do its thing so it's the house old ranch so we're going to go and clear this place out and see what we can get okay buddy's grain right now here's a thought before we go and do that house maybe we should go and dig around in here and grab a little more cement now there are likely to be there we are there are likely to be zombies in here which is what i was expecting but there are also right lots of blue bags we're going to want as much of this as we can lay our hands on the more of this the more of this we can harvest the less we have to craft also if we end up if we end up with too much we can the, the the sand we can't do anything about sand once we turn stone into sand it remains sand however this can actually be scrapped into stone so if we harvest this and we find out that we haven't got enough stone to make our uh, our concrete mix there's always the possibility that we can scrap a portion of it back to uh back to stone i'm just looking outside there that's a there's a lot there's a lot of zombies wandering around outside we're trying to do this as quietly as we possibly can and hopefully we won't get to hopefully we won't get bothered too much I don't believe there is anything in the yeah i'm not going in there i don't know why i'm whispering it's not like the zombies can actually hear my voice but i'm, I'm gonna keep it quiet anyway okay we got a shotgun messiah yeah that's got a lot of spikes in it we don't want to fall down there we don't want to fall down there all right let's see what we can see out of this working stiff crate i don't imagine it's going to be anything particularly great given our game stage and whatnot but you never know it's cobblestone and wood frame shaped well it could have been better it could have been a lot worse but it could have been a lot better too right there's that little bag did i did i actually no i didn't loot it i got rid of the stuff in front of it i didn't loot it okay all right we're all set and ready also every every time we find uh, every time we find aloe cream we're now in a position i i put one point into physician so we can now make first aid bandages if we need to so that's going to help rather than just using the aloe cream oh yeah 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 seven days to die jump scares i hate them i hate them i hate them i hate them oh man oh here we go here we go every time we go do a building every time we go loot a poi this is what we have to deal with ow stop hitting me no oh, stop hitting me oh god i'm getting surrounded no tom no nurse oh man this is so bad We are getting the shizzle kicked out of us here. This is no bueno. That's a lot of toms. It's a... That is a lot of toms. That's one of the reasons why I've gone to use the knife. So we can, if we need to, 
we can make a run for it. Whittle their health down nice and low. Let them bleed out. We don't have to stand there and fight every zombie. We can. There we go. Just like that. Does help thin the uh, does help thin the crowd somewhat. That one point in deep cuts can make quite the difference. Okay, is there one? All right, there's a crawler stuck in there. All right, you're dead. There's a crawler stuck here. You're dead. Yo, what you doing, fool? Why you? There's a there's a great big wide open gap here, yeah, clown. A uh, great big wide open gap here, and you're stood there bashing down the door. You are some kind of a wally, surely. All right, let's not. We won't. Uh, we won't sweat the. Um, we won't sweat the infection just yet. We'll see if we can rattle through and get this quest done. We got a little bit of concrete, a little bit of cement. Hopefully, we've cleared away a good portion of the zombies here. Although I don't think we have. I definitely want to grab that while I can. Quickly, quickly, quickly. Whoa. All right, boys and girls. It's party time. Yeah, blades increased to 23. The better blades we can get, the better. Nothing coming through the building. Don't like the thug. Don't like the nurse. Don't like zombies. Full stop. All of you, leave me alone. Marlene. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Oh, God. Wow. Okay. Very... <laughs> really, really easy to get overrun doing this. Really easy to get overrun. Let's try not to do that. As you can probably gather, this is one of the reasons why I really, really, really wanted to focus on making Molotovs. Hopefully a much, a much, 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 much quicker way of dealing with zombies. One strategy that I've yet to employ playing this mod, and I'm just beginning to wonder whether or not it's going to be the way to go. Obviously, we've tried throwables. We've, you know, we've used we've used pipe bombs, we've used grenades. They've all been pretty effective. One thing I haven't looked at yet, one thing that might be a really good idea actually, is for large groups of zombies, is if we can actually get our hands on a rocket launcher. Now, I don't normally spec into rocket launchers at all, but I'm starting to think that for a mod like this, anything that does AOE damage, anything that's going to do a lot of damage over a wide area and take out a lot of zombies in one go can only be good for us. Having to take out zombies individually is it's time consuming and using melee tactics is dangerous and it could be a while before we actually get our hands on a um, on a rocket launcher but if we do get one I think specking into that and making sure we've got rocket launcher ammo is going to be no bad thing. Now, obviously, there's an inherent risk attached with rocket launchers and explosives. We're going to be using frag ammo, not high explosive ammo, for a start, um, because I don't want to run the risk of destroying. You know, I don't want to. Uh, I don't want to blow the crap out of the world whilst I'm using one. But also, got to be really careful that I don't shoot a rocket too close to myself. And accidentally blow myself up. That would not be that would not be anything that we particularly want to do. So rocket launchers might be good, but we're gonna have to Yeah. Definitely gonna be a situational thing, I think. I don't know. I'm I'm, I'm kind of I'm spitballing ideas, I'm not entirely sure whether or not it'll be a good thing or a bad thing. I'm starting to think that perhaps it might be a good thing. I don't know. We get our hands on one. We'll give it a try. And we'll see what happens. Alright. 
We're in for a penny, in for a pound now. We've started the quest. We get surrounded up here, we're in trouble. I can't block the entrance off. And there could still be zombies mooching around. Hopefully. Hopefully there won't be too many. And we can maybe whip through here. We might have to go... I'm trying to think what this house is. If this is, this, is, if this is the house with the attached garage... Garage? Garage? If this is the house with the attached garage... <laughs> Say it in English, else. If this is the house with the attached garage... Which I'm not sure it is now, looking at it... Then we might be uh we, we we might go a different way i really don't like rooms where you have to drop down into this because they are near almost always archery skill points they're almost always a trap no i didn't think that all the way through i probably could have stealthed my way through that one a little bit like that Right, anything good in the garment bag? A BDU top that's no better than what we've got, so. Uh, nothing on the shelves. Empty the bookcase. Check the nightstand. No, we don't want the press boy cap. Nothing behind the pictures. Some nerdy goggles. Somewhere around one of these POIs. Some nerdy goggles would be absolutely amazing college jacket i think we are we, we are we already wearing one of those you know what i'm going to take it because i can sell that one. i'm pretty sure i've got one on i'm pretty sure we're wearing one yes we are i thought as much uh zombie in here no zombie in there though And a lot of zombies outside. This this sounds like this this could end badly. Right, don't get stuck in a corner. Yeah, a lot of zombies outside. Uh water. We gotta keep looting. We've got to keep looting and hope they don't break in. And hope they don't break in and trap us in a corner. Ha ah, nuts. Here we go. Now we screwed the pooch. Now we screwed the pooch. We're in real trouble now. Right, let's get this, get this door up. Let's get the wrench out. Get the Molotovs down. Get as far back as we can and molly the door and hope and pray. Hope and pray that that holds. Oh no, my worst fear has been realized. Please don't let anything come in behind us. Can we, um, can we, can we, can we beat a hasty retreat here? Can we make ourselves another way out just in case they break through the door? Gotta check it. Keep it up, Brady. Keep it up, Brady. Keep it up. No, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. One more molly will do it. One more molly will do it. I don't know how many zombies are out there. It's impossible to tell. I'm panicking. I don't want to get trapped in here. I can make myself a way out. If the door will just hold for just a smidgen longer. No, don't repair it. No, I'm pressing the wrong button. Don't repair it. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Okay. Oh, oh, my days. Don't. Oh, the door strat's not working. Yeah, they're... Oh, okay, they are all breaking in. I don't know where they came in. Alright, they're coming through the front door. We may have to beat a hasty retreat here. Did I not do this one once before? I swear. I swear I've done this before and I've done exactly the same thing.
You are not who I wanted to see. Oh, it's lagging hard. It's lagging real hard. Ow! Oh! Okay, right, we're gonna have to heal. We just can't, we can't leave yet because we're not done. We can't leave yet because we're not done. And I don't know where the zombies are. There's really good chance we can end up being surrounded here. Right, that was our that was our bathroom. I'm not entirely convinced where I'm supposed to go here. Oh, they all fell downstairs, and I don't think they can get back up here. Oh, I know. I remember this one now. I remember this one now. This is the one with that silly collapsible floor. That the zombies, they end up down there, and they can't get back up. Right. Uh, we're a little hungry. So we'll eat both of the, uh, we'll eat both of the rations. That'll help us with our health. Uh, we can scrap the cans. We can scrap the lead. Uh, we can drink the goldenrod tea. We can resort that. You know what? I was going to keep these. I may end up having to scrap these. Okay, Arlene. Okay, that was a mistake. That's a mistake. That's a big mistake. Oh, come on. All right, as long as it doesn't rain zombies in here. I still hear them moving around outside. I still hear them moving around outside. I hate it. We don't want the dye. We can scrap the dye to paint. Uh... Right, swap that out for this. Sounds to me like they're trying to dig through the floor. Sniper rifle volume 6. Learn to craft armor piercing 762s. All right. Uh, the pipe baton, I'm not keeping it. I really, really, out of all the pipe weapons, that is the one I dislike the most. Oh, oh my god. Arlene, could you not do that to me? Holy butts. Okay, the, ca the, the courier satchel is upstairs. Uh, you know what? I'm going to keep the suit jacket. Just in case I get some suit pants, that sells for seventy. Yeah, I'm gonna end up get. I'm gonna end up carrying way more stuff. Just because I'm greedy and I want to sell it all, Darlene, will you just back away? I'm hoping. Normally, I don't hope that I can actually loot steroids. I'm hoping I can loot another lot of steroids because I want to use the steroids here. Um, you know what? Very quickly, as we're in the building, uh, we made it. We might as well do it while we're here. We'll grab everything we can: cloth fragment, wood. From everything that we can wrench. Did we go? Right, is that that's that's the way through to the next lot of zombies. That's where the last lot of zombies are. I think. Uh little sand, okay. Another glass jar, okay. Uh feathers and sand, okay. Scrap. I'm not gonna bother to sell that this time. Right, last few cupboards, and then we should be able to go and clean out. 
the last lot of zombies and i have really do think i'm gonna have to use i don't want to use it but i think i'm far too encumbered i think i'm far too encumbered to make this work i may have to use the steroids but we'll see we'll see what happens we'll see how many zombies we got to deal with down here that is four of them all right what can we do all right there's one We'll use the door strap to save the mollies. Okay, Arlene, you're good. All right, that's it. Clean those out. Good strats. Good strats. I like that strat. That's an exceptionally good strat. Ouch. Let the zombies through one at a time. Deal with them one at a time. We've cleared the area. Okay. A little bit more harvesting. Got to go and see about the end loot as well. But there's all materials in this POI that we need and we must not forget I must not forget to grab the end loot uh, to grab the um to grab the courier satchel otherwise it'll be it'll be for naught all right some good loot I don't think I've got any lockpicks, though, and I don't think I'm going to sit here and take the time to bash my way through that safe as much as I'd like to. I don't think I'm going to. We'll see. We'll see. I'll see how, I'll see how it goes. Uh, okay, let's... Uh, sure. Okay, all right, we'll carry it. I was going to drink it, but we'll carry it. Steroids are going to be the order of the day here. Uh, sniper volume 7. High power 762 ammo. We're not really specking. We're not really specking into a. We're not really specking into um Snipers, but the ammo is always useful. The ammo is always good. Uh, what can we scrap? Tell you what. Uh, recipes. Molotov cocktails. We can make another two. We can grab that. What's in the Shanway box? A uh, blueberry pie and a potato. It seems it seems like a little bit of a waste. It seems like a bit of a waste, if I'm honest, to eat the blueberry pie. You know what? We're gonna, I'll eat it for the health. It's not like we're, we're, we're... Ordinarily, I'd save that pie and I'd go back home and stash it. But honestly, I don't, honest, I don't think we're actually going to run out of food. I don't think we're going to run out of food. I think we're going to be okay for food. Uh, what do I not want? What do I not care for? I don't care for that. I don't care for buckshot. I do care for food. I do care for cloth fragment. What's in the leather trunk? A first aid kit, a double pocket mod, electric action skill point, and some... Yes, a much better armor. Much better armor. Okay, let's put those in there. Grab that back here. We have got nothing in that one. Can't modify that one. We can modify that. We can modify that. We can. So that's a, is that our first? That's our first actual armor pocket mod. That's going to help with the encumbrance for sure. All right. I said I wasn't going to do it. I lied. Okay. That didn't take very long at all, actually. And it was not. <laughs> not worth it serrated blade mod i don't need it because i've got one here so that can be scrapped they sell for 160 right that sells for 70 that's worth more that's worth 44 but we've already got pipe pistols so we might as well scrap it i don't think i've got any room to be able to salvage this workbench at all um, as much as i'd like to uh let me see 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 Let's throw the chrysanthemum away. All right. We'll salvage it. We'll salvage it. See what we can save. I just wanted to make room for the forged iron. It was the iron that I think was the thing that we were going to be missing. Oh, my days. Oh, my days. I very nearly missed the popping pills box. And our infection. I've made a huge mistake with the infection. 
a huge mistake with the infection. I should have gone and got some honey. I didn't. I should have gone and got the honey. If I'd have checked that before I did anything else, I would have cured the infection. And you know what I haven't got room for? I've just, I've just thought of it. I haven't actually got room. <laughs> All right. To hell with it. We'll go blurry vision. We'll drink the beer. I mean, we're growing hot, so... All right, we can grab that. Job is complete. There may be a smidgen more loot. All right, it's cat food. We can eat it. Uh, anything else behind here? No. Is there any more loot over here? Yes, because I didn't check everything because I'm a complete sausage. Okay, which side of the... All right, we can just nip out this way because the zombies have made a nice little hole for us. And we can run away from Tom. We don't need to fight Tom. Okay, right. We're out of stamina. We're over encumbered by 21, but we have got a little bit to sell. And we have got a quest reward to grab from him. Oh, he's got an AK. He's got an AK. Here's some money. He's got an AK. I gotta have it. I got to have the AK. That's that's mine. Give me that for sure. All right. We don't want the college jacket. We don't want the old. Oh, I made up about the AK. That is absolutely spectacular. Uh, we don't want the steel sledgehammer parts because we never use them. Uh, what else can we sell? Nothing. Everything else we're going to keep. Restock day is still day 13, well, it's about which is tomorrow, just before Blood Moon. It, it's been a while since I've checked. We're just going to have a quick look through. Quick look through, see if he's got anything that we want. Bow, crossbow parts. Got a 44 Magnum, way too expensive. Uh, nine millimeter ammo would be nice. We can we can carry on we, we can carry on looting ammo. Repair kits are there. Wow, sixteen hundred and seventy four dupes for repair kits. That's loopy. That is absolutely freaking bonkers. Okay, all right. Daylight Nothing cooking there. Burning. Yep, daylight is burning, fella. Daylight is burning. All right, what can we grab from this guy? We got clear zombies in the office. Again, I don't like it. It's pretty. It's right in the town. We've got another farm. And we've got, got downtown filler. You. you know what? I'm going to take... Got a job for, you. for the content, I'm going to take the office job. I'm going to take the office job. Right, anything here we need for recipes? Um, yucca juice, coffee, eye candy. Rockbusters might come in handy for mining, but it's three times more expensive. Mm, not really worth it. I mean, I like I like to stack that with the art of mining books. If I, you know what, there's no point in spending money that we don't have to spend. We won't spend money that we don't have to spend. We got a job. We picked up a job for tomorrow. Okay, I think we've had. I think we've had a moderately productive day. I think we have been fairly productive today. I think we've done rather, rather well. Okay, right, we've got some sand. If we're going to craft cement, we can get 672 cement out there, and we've got 991. Right, quick stop take. We'll just do a little uh, a little stash and move of everything that we've got. Stash all of you. Uh, we'll put you away too. That one we can modify to get the ammo back complete it scrap it because we can't repair it and we can we can always make another one if we need to uh we had our parts over here we'll put our suit jacket over here as well put the paint in there too and as we've got meds in there i'm gonna have to i think my infection we're treated Antibiotic medicine 2.4, infections at 2.8. So I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to chomp down another little bit of honey. Right, antibiotic medicine 7.3. Yeah, we're way ahead of the curve now. Way ahead of the curve. Right, one more thing I did want to check. I wanted to see what our armor stat was at. Oh, we can craft. Oh, okay, okay. 
we can de we got to craft up some better armor uh we need we've got some glue we're gonna have to make some more glue we're gonna have to make some more tape and we're gonna grab some more cloth which we've got a little bit of and we're gonna craft us up a little bit of better armor uh right stock take for the building materials 1600 now 1600 cement 1000 sand 877 stone we're gonna have to go and grab some more stone more stone is what we need all right there's the thousand stone that gives us a thousand cement that is Trader Hugh announcing the end of another day. And this is me announcing the end of another episode. So thank you, everybody, for tuning in and watching. If you've made it all the way to the end, I really, really, really do appreciate it. Please, if you've enjoyed the content, be sure to drop us a subscription. Leave a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. I always love to hear your feedback. Uh, really looking forward to hearing from you guys. Don't forget, we also stream every Monday through Friday over on Twitch. On Twitch link is in the description down below and please also come and hang out with me on twitter i'd love to speak to you and see you guys over there as well all that is left for me to say ladies and gentlemen is thank you once again for watching and remember until next time be good if you can't be good be good at it i've been Els janitor this has been seven days to die you guys have been awesome for watching i really do appreciate it and i will hopefully catch you guys in the next video but until then have a fantastic rest of your day